kids. Today we are going to learn about landscape artwork. Landscape. If we look at that word, we can guess what do you think a landscape drawing or painting would have in it? What do you think? Hmm. Any guesses? That's right. It's of the land. Usually landscapes have land and sky. I'm going to tell you about a landscape painter named Atel Adnan. And she is from Syria. She was born in Syria. She's a Syrian American citizen now. And I want to just show you where Syria is. The United States of America, where we live, is right where the purple star is. And then if you just travel that little arch over, the red circle is where Syria is. So it is very far from America. And that's where Atel Adnan comes from. She is a very famous um, Arab American artist and she loves landscapes. Here are a few of her landscapes. In each of these landscape paintings, you can see sky and land. Atel Adnan likes to play with colors. She uses all different colors for the land and the sky. Artists can choose whatever colors they like. One very important thing about a landscape is something called the horizon line. I know that's a very big word, but I'm going to teach you what it is. It is the line that where the sky looks like it meets the earth. And a horizon line can really be almost any kind of line as long as it goes from one side to the other side of the artwork. It could be wiggly, it could be zigzaggy, and it could be flat or any combination of those. I'm going to draw some horizon lines for you. Can you find the horizon line in this landscape? Here we go. It's where the earth looks like it meets the sky. When you start a landscape artwork, always begin with the horizon line. I'm going to make four ideas for my landscape. So I've divided my window into four sections and I'm going to pretend that this is just one piece of paper. This would be just one idea right in here. This is my first one. In this sketch, I am going to make a horizon line that is very high on the page. So it's going to be a little bit of sky and a lot of land. So I think I'm going to make it a little bumpy. Maybe it flattens out a little and comes back up. So that's just one idea for a horizon line. This part is the sky. I'm coloring in the sky so that you know it's sky. I'm doing it a little messy. You guys are going to do it a lot neater next week. Don't color in your sky yet. We're going to work on that next week. But I'm going to do a different horizon line on this rectangle. I'm going to do one that is just a big mountain. That is another horizon line. The top part is the sky and the bottom part is the land in my landscape. Let's take another look at one of Atela Nan's 
landscape paintings. Can you find the horizon line? Remember, it's where the sky meets the earth. There it is. Two more to go. In this one, I am going to make it low. So I'm going to have a lot of sky and a little bit of earth. And I'm going to make it just a little bit bumpy. And it looks like far away mountains. So this is my horizon line. This part is the land and this part will be the sky. Let's do our last horizon line experiment. With this one, hmm, I think I'm going to make part of it flat, a straight line. And then I'm going to have it go up, flatten out again, up, there. And that is my fourth horizon line. Now it's your turn to practice making horizon lines.